Okay, guys. So this was kind of impromptu. I just got access to this. Um, this is actually called Bunker. Um, the main executable says it's Bunker the New Nightmare Begins. Um, the description says it's in an early access stage. Not all the features are implemented at the moment. And it said uh, Bunker is an indie game. The main goal will be to escape from the bunker. It will be important to follow the tasks, but your surviving will depend on you. Each new game will offer a different experience from the previous one. Uh, if you encounter problems that could disturb the gaming experience, let us know. Um, it says the gameplay. Bunker experience in early access, survive and escape. Wander in the corridors where the darkness will not be your only enemy. Take everything you can find to survive. Don't let yourself be trapped. Do not get lost or fall on traps. Hide yourself. Make no noise. Follow all the quests to the letter to escape. Unlock other difficulty modes at each end of the game. Casual, hard, and nightmare. Okay. 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 I have no idea anything about this, but it sounded interesting. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let me see. Let's do our graphics setting here. Uh, let's make sure there's no fucking motion blur. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. What are our, our movement keys? WASD, Q and E, F, for, as in Frank for interaction. Drop is G. Okay. Space for jump. Shift control. Okay. So G's the only one I need to know. All right, well let's uh, let's try it. Graphically, it looks pleasing so far. I don't see any hiccups or nothing, so let's check it out. Okay, let's go casual. Enlighten yourself as much as possible to stay alive. Looks like this is procedurally generated. I guess it said it said it was generating the map. So. Hmm. New task. Pick up the first aid to heal you. Press F to interact. Pick up the first aid to heal me. Oh. Wow, this looks really pleasing. Wait, why? Why can't I go forward? Wait a second, what is happening here? So, S, that's backwards. I'm definitely walking backwards. But was the... Wait, the D key... What? Why is it strafing? So, D strafes... What? It says Q and E is... What is happening here? Q... Okay, wait. E is, str is looking to the right. D walks to the right. Okay, that, that should be right. Q... Is strafing left? It, those are backwards. What? Okay. So A is leaning left. D is strafing right. E is leaning right, which is right is correct. Q is oh my god, those are backwards. Why? And there and forward. I don't even know what forward is bound to. Hold on. Can I rebind this? Jesus Christ, this game is. Definitely, yeah. Uh, let's try key bindings. Let me see. Move forward is Z? What? <laughs> Why, God? <laughs> it, it's probably, uh, it, it's probably a, a foreign keypad, like a different country. It's probably what's going on here. So, uh, Okay, move left. Move right. Uh, backwards. Crouch, shift, space. Okay, lean left. Q, lean right. E. Uh, fire. Okay, that's probably right. All right. There we go. Hopefully that fixed it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now that we got the controls out of the way, uh, it is actually. I mean, this actually looks pretty good. I mean, we get access to a lot of games, guys, and this actually looks pretty damn, pretty suave. Dark. Hopefully this will be a. Okay. Um. 
Okay, so you just pick it up. All right. Pick up flashlight to enlighten you. Uh, wait, do I? Where, oh, you hold it. Okay. Man, that, man, this it looks really good. I don't know how it plays, but this looks really, really tight. Oh, even though the flashlight doesn't have much. Oh, it's because maybe it's dim. Pick up batteries to recharge your flashlight. Okay. Your flashlight. Pick up the blowtorch to defend yourself. Okay, that sounds... Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that looks much better. I like it. Okay. Pick up the blowtorch to defend yourself? What the fuck? What the... Okay. Let's go. Initial release. Find the fuse box. Also, that the fuse box is to restore the power. Four fuse boxes. So, how do you change... Okay. Okay, it's Doom 3. You can't have more than... You can't have your flashlight and your weapon out. Holy crap, this is dim. Let me, uh, let me see. Can I brighten this up for y'all? There, there definitely needs to be some sort of a gamma. I mean, I can appreciate a dark game because, you know, it's supposed to be, but, like, this is beyond... This is definitely beyond dark. Holy shit. And, like, my flashlight's going in it and just get, getting dim, too. What is this? Oh, my God. Turn that back on. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Scraps? What is this? Oh man, yeah, your batteries do not last. They need to be brighter. They need they need either gamma controls or um yeah, either gamma controls or um, brighter flashlight. Yeah, I'm having hard. I'm having a real hard time seeing. Yeah, my, I mean, my flashlight might as well not even be on. Shit, that gives off way more light than the damn flashlight. What the shit? Hey. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, shit. Well. Okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna gripe. I mean, hey, it, it, it is what it is, but... Yeah, the the light is a big thing. They they need to definitely get some better light in there. Like that's just imperative. There's eyeballs in there. Yeah, if you're dealing with a maze game like this, the light is very, very important. Because you, you and also textures, a differentiate different differenti differentiating the the textures and stuff like that, like it's important because you you you're trying to find your way around a maze, right? So you, you need some differences so you can remember where you are, where you've been. Um, so I would say definitely a little bit uh, difference in the color palette for all the hallways and stuff. Thank you. 
and definitely more light. Uh, and if you're not going to give us more light, then maybe the flashlight needs to be brighter. Um, more batteries readily available. Like, I mean, I'm, I can't see shit. I'm following this guy because, like, there's light over here. Yeah, there he is. And I'm out of, uh, I'm out of, I'm out of blowtorch stuff. He's gonna probably kill me now because I, I I really don't have the light to look around. That that that's yeah. I'm not gonna gripe no much because this is very early access and I know they're gonna want feedback on it and I can just tell you straight off, like right off the get, right off the get, more light, especially if I'm gonna be running from assholes like that. I gotta be able to find fuel, right? Like I gotta be able to find stuff to defend myself. Um, I don't know where the fuel is. So I gotta be able to find that easily because I'm probably gonna be running a lot, right? There's a fuse. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put the fuses. And it's so dark, like, this guy's probably just gonna show up right in front of me and just bop me. And I, I won't even see him coming. He could be right in front of me. See this thing swinging right here? I barely see it. I wouldn't see it at all if I had any less flashlight. But I'm not going to gripe because uh, compared to a lot of the stuff that we play, this is actually pretty quality. Just needs some tweaks. More light. Definitely more light. I mean, I can't even, I, I can barely see the ceiling and the floor. Like, how am I supposed to navigate, you know, w without enough light? No gamma controls? Real hard. I'm dead. I, don't, I can't see him. I can't see him. I mean, I'm just, yeah, straight up, they need more light. But, I mean, hey, we're trying it. Nice of them to give us early access, but more fucking light. More batteries, more light, more ways to defend myself. Make him noisier, something. And this is casual and it's it's freaking really hard. I mean the ambiance is cool. It I mean they they, they got a, a good thing going, but um Dark is scary, but it can also be annoying. And that's one of the things that that's one of the things that'll kill a scary game real quick is is having it dark because you think it's scary and it's really just annoying. And like in this game, I don't I don't see the fear factor, but we play a lot of scary games. Uh I I, I don't find this scary. Um I don't find it scary. I find it it's interesting, but I don't find it scary at all. And because I don't find it scary having it dark makes no sense right if the dark doesn't actually provide gameplay value it just makes it annoying then don't make it so dark you know you, you, the whole point of playing a game is to have fun right these are opinions i don't know maybe you get scared more easy than i do but jesus how many scary games we played this year 500 See my battery's going dead. I can't. I can barely see the freaking anything in front of me. I can't see shit. How am I gonna find my way back to this right when I can't see where I am? There's no map, so even though I can't see where I am, I can't even look at the map. Like I, this thing, I can barely even see. It. How is this to be scary? How is this supposed to be scary if you can't even see it? You know? Here, I might as well just do this. There. And this guy's, I don't know where he's coming from. I can't see him. Flashlight's on, but I got no juice. And 
And also, I, I think it said it changes each time. escape this guy. There he comes. I'm almost I'm gonna run out of blowtorch on this guy. That's bad right there. You see how that door blocked that that the door blocked the other door? Pretty bad. I can't change. I It's got this lag when you try to change uh weapons. It's got this lag in between. Need some uh, like color variations on the walls, maybe posters or I don't know pictures. It, it just things to help you kind of navigate around or know where you are. I can't change. And you need to be able to. If he's just gonna show up out of nowhere, you got to be able to switch weapons like lightning fast. It's too dark to see. I mean, him just showing up. It's not scary. He's 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 actually annoying. The darkness is the worst part about this game. It, it, it doesn't come out until the 18th. So, uh, I mean, they got a good two weeks or so to, to, to do an update. But uh, what I can say right now is more light, 100%. The, the flashlight is too damn dim. You need to be able to switch weapons more quickly. Uh, more ways to identify where you are so you can kind of navigate around. Um, Right now, the way it is, I can see this being incredibly, incredibly frustrating. Um, just not being able to see that that that's the biggest part. That that's really frustrating. I might be able to work around the other stuff if I could see better. Maybe I could run away from him or whatever. God, I hope there's no stamina bar. But uh, you know, maybe if I could get away from him, or if I can hide, or I could, I could do something. But it, it doesn't. I don't know. It, it says be quiet and stuff like that, but like I, I don't really see any way to do that. He just kind of wanders around blindly. So you know, uh, I don't know. When I had the light off, he still comes walking right up to you, even when the light's off. 
and it doesn't really matter because like even if you turn the flashlight off it's so fucking dark like how do you know when it's safe to go ahead and move because it's just so fucking dark so you're gonna have to turn the light on and then you turn the light on and he comes after you so it, it, it's a balanced thing but hey they got two weeks i'll put it on youtube hopefully they'll see it maybe make some changes they're on the right track